It's hard to describe the tight bond among veterans, but it's so easy to understand the connection between a military working dog and his handler. It's a bond that, you know, uh, will never get repeated. When working dog Sergeant Fieldy and Marine Corporal Nicholas Casadas first met, the attraction was instant. He came right up to me, I don't know. Uh, he came up to me, I was looking for him, and he came up to me and I'm like, all right, there you go. 12 years ago in Afghanistan, this black lab and his battle buddy were inseparable, taking care of each other. He led the way. But Sergeant Fieldy went above and beyond that. He was in front of me at all times. Sniffing out and detecting roadside bombs, keeping his handler and other Marines alive. You describe him as a hero, right? Yes. In what way? You know, uh, everything he did, uh, saving lives, you know, going in front, making sure our path was safe. And when the two warfighters came home, it was only natural to retire together with family in South Texas, together for a good 10 years. You know, he laid around, played with the kids, threw them a ball every once in a while. Until last year. You know, it was more bad days than good. A tired Sergeant Fieldy started showing signs that the end was near. That's when Corporal Casadas instinctively contacted a nearby veteran cemetery to plan a proper burial. But there was a problem. The VA would not allow it. They told me the, uh, that they couldn't. Uh, he was uh, still considered an animal. You know, and animals are not allowed to be buried there. He didn't take no for an answer, wondering why a four-legged combat veteran who received the same honorable discharge as him would be denied. He did his time, just like I did, uh, just like many service members did. With time running out, Corporal Caceres, with the help of Congressman Vicente Gonzalez, came up with legislation to change that. The Sergeant Fieldy Act it would allow military working dogs to be buried in the same plot as their handler at state or national veteran cemeteries. Last year, House Resolution 9152 didn't get far. Then, with a newly elected House, Gonzalez refiled a new House Resolution 918, this time with bipartisan support. But time ran out. Sergeant Fieldy had to be put down two weeks ago his ashes on display at the family home. In the end, this working dog who gave so much for his country was not given proper military honors in return. They're not just a pet, you know, it's not just some random dog that I just can't let go of. You know, he was there with us, he did his time, just like I did, just like every other, you know, person that was out there. But the story doesn't end there that unbreakable bond between a courageous canine and his caring corporal cannot and will not be broken with a final vow to never give up the fight. You know, I'm not asking for too much other than you know, somewhere to lay him to rest.